Hi, my name is Kurt from Code Crafters. This video is from my Roblox Masterclass course, which you can find more about in the description below. Okay, so the next tool we're going to have a look at is the Rotate tool. Now, this one allows you to rotate um, your parts. Now, obviously, first off, let's select the Rotate tool. So make sure when you go over to Tools, I've actually got it already selected here, but make sure that your Rotate tool, you left click it, to select it, okay? Um, now, let's select our part by going over to it and left clicking it. And you can see that this one has the same colors, but it is quite different to the other move and scale tools um, in which they're not kind of situated at each face. They're kind of going around it, which um, might seem a bit scary to start off with, but trust me, it is, um, it's not too bad. So instead of having three kind of um, straight axis, we kind of have three circular axis almost. But basically how this works is, if you imagine the X axis is going across this way. So up and down based on my camera angle. We know that because if you look at the view selector, that's the name for this thing over here, the X is going up, we can see there, okay? so. The circle kind of goes around the x-axis. Um, so that's kind of what the circles mean. So even though it's not directly on the axis, it's circling around it. So it still means if I was wanting to rotate along the x-axis, I would still use the red um, circle going around it there. Okay. So let's hover over that red circle and we can see that we have um, some little um, well, things come out here. And um, they basically um, show you how much you can rotate at once. So if we move across to the first one, you can see it rotates um, that amount there. We move it across again, it rotates that amount there. Um, now I'm going to get um, a bit mathsy here. Um, you probably already know that a circle contains 360 degrees, okay? Um, now, if you're not too sure um, about this, it's, um, it's not um, essential to making games on Roblox Studio, but it will help you out in some future lessons. I would recommend that you would um, try to learn this. So a degree is just a way to measure an angle, okay? And um, a circle, which is like an entire angle, um, contains 360 of those, so 360, oh, okay? Um, which means half of a circle contains, uh, contains half of 360, which is 180. Quarter of a circle contains a quarter of 360, which is 90, okay? And then so on, an eighth of a circle is 45 degrees. This has been split up into eight parts. So actually, we're rotating by 45 degrees each time, okay? Which is a good thing um, to know. So you can see rotating it there along the X axis. I'm just holding down on that circle and moving my mouse around the circle, as you can see there, okay? I can do, same, I can do the same for the Y axis, which is going vertically. Rotate it along that, like that there. And then also the Z axis, rotating it along like that one there, okay? Obviously, if you make, um, because this part here is symmetrical, which basically means that um, it's a mirror of itself. Example, For example, here, the everything left of the blue circle is the exact same as everything right of the blue circle. So that means if we rotate it, let's say along the um, y-axis here by 180 degrees, half a rotation, it looks the exact same, okay? However, if your object had some um, images or some textures or other stuff going on, it might look a bit different, okay? And that's pretty much it for the rotate tool, okay? Has a little bit more to it with the axis being a little bit different, but hopefully it's not too far off the other two tools you have learned, okay? So get comfortable with those tools, 
because we're going to be using them a lot in our future lessons. And um, once you're comfortable with those, you move on to the um, next lesson where we'll be talking a little bit more about um, how to adjust and properly use these tools that we've learned.